I'll have to check later on though, but yeah. So I'm not gonna bother. Alright. As long as the PC's working now. Alright. I'm a dumb fuck. I forgot to update my graphics card, but at least it's fine now. Last stream last stream highlight for Neptune it was kinda fucked up. Is he even here? <laughs> Dude, I was also gonna say I checked out the Gundam Seed Freedom dub. Where the fuck is Shin's original voice actor? That was the worst voice actor I've ever heard, and Matt Hill's not voicing Kira either? The fuck is up with that, dude? I didn't check Athwin's voice actor yet, but I wonder if he still has the same voice actor. The fact that Matt Hill is not voicing Kira, bros, is sacrilege, bro. Where the fuck is Matt Hill? He's not voicing Kira? Not even Shin's voice actor either. <laughs> Gundam Breaker 4? Bruh. That's a good game. I literally got like, I literally got hella rare 5 stars and 4 stars and shit for practically all my, um, what you call it. For practically all my weapons and everything. I've been balls deep in that game. Balls. Took a shit twice. Just... Yeah. Fuck were you doing, bro? Well, turns out I forgot to update my graphics card. <laughs> That's why the PC was uh was fucking up a bit, but now it's good now. For some reason, it for some reason it refused to up update. I don't know why, but I ended up having to reinstall. So hopefully we have a good clean stream with no problems. I'm gonna test. We're gonna see how things go. See if the game's closed down or whichever, bro. But Yeah, you told me all right. Appreciate it. But I can't say for sure, though. We got to see if, you know, if anything happens this stream. Because, you know, I don't want to jinx it, you know, like I upgrade, I updated my graphics card and, and things are perfect now, but I don't want to say it completely, though. What would I say my most game I'm focused on now? I would say Xenoblade Chronicles. Like I, I and, and it's literally the most one I'm focused on more than more than Gundam Breaker 4. Not even lying to you. No. Fucking love the soundtrack. I miss the soundtrack. They gotta bring it back. It's definitely, but yeah, it's definitely Xenoblade Chronicles because, um, 
I really want to play through the series. But as for Gundam Breaker 4, when I do finish Gundam Breaker 4, I'm just going to delete the game. Mine is kind of, um, mine is well pirated, so. So, you know, once I beat the game, I'm going to delete Gundam Breaker 4. I never get tired of this theme, bro. Oh my god. So addicting to listen to it. <laughs> so I'm going to go back on Common Rider afterwards and I'm going to do it again i up i updated my graphics card for some reason it never it, it's no wonder it never showed me any recent updates and stuff block ain't playing blonnie ain't playing what's going on char Forgot to load the chat, but there you go. <laughs> but that's what I need to make sure to say to everybody else. For those who don't know, for those who don't know, if you do have a graphics card on your PC, and I'm saying this to those who don't know, because a lot of people should know this. I know this, but it's just I forgot. But for those who don't know, if you have a graphics card, you make sure to update it every time. When there's an update that shows up in a notification, always get notified. Always make sure to notify yourself. Like, make sure your PC has a notification set on for um, for updating your graphics card. Because it's very important. If you don't update your graphics card, then your PC performance is going to fuck up and, you know, games will close down your games will start running slow and stuff and it could be like a problem so just always be sure to upgrade your shit always update it's always important to update Probably running away from that nude type. <laughs> you got the Gundam reference. You were probably running away from that nude type. <laughs> Because I think the last recent update for NVIDIA graphics cards were August 19th, I think. There's no way, though. They, I mean, don't you have to update that thing every day? But yeah, always update your PC. Be sure to update the most important one, your graphics card, because that, that will affect your gaming if you don't update it. That's why it's important to update your graphics card all the time. I can't believe I didn't pay attention to that. That's the one thing I didn't pay attention to. My um for once I actually forgot. And it's probably because it's probably because I don't have notif I never had notifications set on for updating my graphics card. That's don't that's one thing I have to um That's one thing I have to literally check next time. Yeah, it works fine. It's just that I never. It's just that when we restored Windows, uh, the notification thing wasn't set on for updating the graphics card. It says, it says the recent update was August 19th, but I don't believe that. Is he sure? Only your hands. That's uh. That's that's kind of not what I was really expecting you to say, but okay. Mm 
you know, kind of not, it, it kind of wasn't the answer I was expecting for me to say, but, uh, yeah. <clears throat> You never had a problem with the graphics card? The reason why you don't have a problem with your graphics card is because it's not like mine. <laughs> mine is like, mine is like in, mine is like in the 30s. Like your graphics card is like on the bottom. For bottom graphics cards like yours that have low end gaming, you don't have to worry about yours. But for people who are, who actually have the premium graphics cards like me, you have to worry about updating it. <clears throat> That's why yours don't, doesn't have a problem. And you don't have to update it. But other people who have a big, a bigger graphics card than a low-end one have to worry about updating it. That way they can get the most highest performance on gaming. <coughs> so that's basically people like people like me and Trey, for example. Because Trey also has a high-end graphics card. But our goddess is not seeing guests today. What? Is she still upset about last time? Can't you do anything, Miss Chamberlain? I have no way to change our goddess's demands. Please leave. Yeah, she can't help. Let's go for now. I already thought up another plan in case this happened. <clears throat> There's something I haven't told you two. I actually belong to the guild. The guild? I've learned a little about it. That's exactly what I was gonna say. He don't know. He don't know anything about Intel cores. I have the Intel Core i7, and Intel Core i9 is what's supposed to handle a lot of PC games, not an i7. An i7 is literally like close to high performance for certain games. <clears throat> Appreciate that like and share, Jai. What's going on, man? Just because my PC can handle Switch games and other games like that doesn't mean that it's perfect. Anyone's PC, anyone's PC up to a i6 or i7 can handle Switch games and PS3 games. It depends on the model itself. <clears throat> PS3 emulation is way harder than you think. I mean, well, then again, even if I told, even if I told you, you wouldn't understand. It'd probably be a bit too sophisticated for you. So all I'm going to say is that at least know your facts on PC before you actually, you know, say things about it. Servers are back up. That's good to know. So, where are these guild members? Do they travel the world like you, Iffy? One of the answers to that is here on the Wii. You know how there's a Basilicom in each Louis city, right? They govern the local area? 
I'm gonna put the auto. Oh yeah, that is true, it kind of does. Now if it's PC games, you're, but if it's like PC games you're playing, they run off of graphics cards itself. Hello, we meet again. I'm Financier, Lady Whiteheart's Chamberlain. I would have never guessed IF was also a guild member. She's your helper? Why? She's a guild member too? But she's taking care of Louise CPU, right? This is whack. Yes, I'm a member as well. I don't worship Lady Whiteheart. Work is work. My beliefs are my beliefs. But I'm sure I'll be thrown out as soon as this is public knowledge. You thought emulation runs off of graphics cards? No, it doesn't. What runs off of graphics cards is PC games. Like official PC games, like Gundam Breaker 4, for example. Remember when I was playing Gundam Breaker 4 and Gundam Breaker 4 ran with no problems and all the other PC games that I run ran with no problem? That's because the PC games run off of the GPU itself, that being the graphics card. Emulation is different though. When you hear all that lagging and shit like that on emulation, that's mainly because your CPU can't really handle it much. It depends on the CPU you have. For me, I have Intel Core i7. I have an Intel Core i7, which is literally, which is literally in between, in between mid and high for certain games. It means that my PC can handle a lot of games, but there's going to be some other demanding games on emulation that it can't handle. So you see the amount of games I have right now, like Gundam Reborn, um, Dynasty Warrior Gundam, Naruto Storm Generations, and if it can run Storm Generations on em emulation, it can also run all the other Storm games. <clears throat> so. But I don't really need the Storm games since I have them on um, PC. So. But you know, it could run the Neptunia games and all that stuff everything and you've seen what it can do with switch emulation too it can run xenoblade chronicles it can run smash it could run a lot of them but it's a i7 it's not perfect but it's still decent <laughs> better than a low end that's for sure doing fine today compared to yesterday oh yeah it's doing fine i appreciate your patience man thank you it's doing fine it's because I forgot to update my graphics card. I was about to say, if this PC was actually having problems, then there's like, I'd be a bit pissed. Because this shit cost about a thousand bucks. You know, me and my brother um, are actually going to end up paying down the PC on uh, this following paycheck. We haven't really paid down. We haven't really paid down the card yet for, for this PC, so we'll be able to pay it down this following paycheck too and have the card fully clear to um to use but as you can see neptunia runs fast now and that's only because of the fact that i forgot to um update the graphics card yesterday it turns out the last recent update was august 19th i haven't i haven't updated the graphics card for like like if you count up to now all the way from august 19th bro that's hella days man i haven't updated it for days and it's no wonder it was fucking up so now it's fully updated um and it runs fine now neptunia was running a bit slowly at first and i noticed my games were running a bit slowly in the and the game shut down too when i was playing Comet rider so i would assume that it was because i didn't update it but now seeing how neptunia runs fine now with no problems 
it means that all my games should run perfectly now with no problems. I forgot to update my graphics card though. But out of that did I'm good. And I feel great. I went shopping, got some food and stuff. We're packed on food, drinks and stuff, and and you know, I'm off today, tomorrow, and I'm going in Friday. Got a Labor Day paycheck coming up. Coming up this following paycheck. So I, I feel perfectly fine. I think everything is back to normal. You know, I was also helping my brother, um, I was also helping my brother fix his, um, try to get his secondary monitor to work too, because for some reason it wasn't working. So yesterday we both had problems with our PC. He fixed his, he fixed, he managed to get his secondary monitor to work. So, you know, other than that, everything is, everything is good. And I managed to update my graphics card and fix things. I had to reinstall the Vita, the PS Vita emulator because of the fact that, uh, what you call it? I had to, um, reset the PS, I had to literally reinstall the PS Vita emulator because, you know, I did a system restore before and now, uh, I ended up reinstalling Gundam Seed Battle Destiny, but it wouldn't install, so I had to I had to force install it, and now it's installed again. And thank God I had a save data that um that I saved a save data that I um uploaded online for others to use, as well as myself, just in case I lose my data one day. So now I'm good. I got Gundam Seed Battle Destiny reinstalled, and I think everything is fine now. So if anything does happen. I stop the stream and just call it a day. That's it. We've never had to use them. The monster started Make eyes in an OC. Cross rays and slap them into a window. I, see. <laughs> I could do that, yeah. We can use them as a sacrifice. Mainly as a decoy and let them just die. <laughs> we just use them as a freaking decoy. And not even let them attack. He ain't worth leveling up. That's for sure. Oh, speaking of eyes, and I fought him a Rage of Blast 2 yesterday. And I was on a big ass long streak for an hour. I don't know why it kind of felt good slapping Aizen around, bro. And who did I bring out again? None other than Kui. None other than Kui. Aizen, let me know if you're still down for more Raging Blast 2, man. That was pretty good. But you know me, man. I, you've gotten good, man. But mind you, it's going to take a while, man, before you beat my years of experience, my friend. Bro, I'm not gonna lie. I, I really gotta show y'all something after this too, bro. I, re I, I really gotta show y'all something after this too, bro. When I was fighting Aizen, I cornered him. I cornered him all day. <laughs> I don't wanna brag about it, but I really cornered him all day. I cornered the dude, bro, so badly. I did not let him get out of it, dude. He popped out Kid Boo and I popped out Future Gohan. That was just so satisfying. Dude literally lighted up my day, bro. I, I, I swear. I, I would think that too. You would definitely think that because when you see him going straight to Kid Boo, when you when you see him going straight to Kid Boo or like or like say for example, 
when when the match is over he presses start and skips the outro for the characters the victory the victory quotes for the characters bro mad fast bro so i literally get a rematch going bro and i just keep rematching because i know he don't want to change character at all bro so i give a rematch and then after a couple matches we change character what's going on stuff so then when i see him going straight to kid boo or gogeta when i see him going straight for kid boo or gogeta i know he's not playing anymore neptune's already given up or maybe she never meant to go back Financier, I thought you took today off. Sorry, Dari. The correct answer is Neptune and her three awesome birdies. <laughs> Don't include me in this. I told you to not tell her I was here. You brought them? Whatever. I'll hear you out. Since you're here, financier, go away. Take them too. Understood. Everyone, let's go before our lady verbally abuses us, crushes our egos, and takes away our wills to live. What? Financier! Oh no, it's all good. Stream should be fine now, but if it does end up fucking up again, I'm gonna go ahead straight. I'm gonna um end the stream and call it a day. Hopefully it shouldn't. I updated my graphics card, so everything's good now. Identity? Careless idiot. Are you still angry? Sorry, but I really gotta ask about the key fragment again. You've developed tough skin since coming to the human world. Or should I say fat skin with lots of blubber? Whatever. I've no intention to talk to you. I won't tell you a damn thing. Not even if I did know something, stupid brat. What are you here for? What happened to your freaking land? Stuff your stupid fat head into your ass and go home. L Lady Whiteheart? You're not acting like you were a second ago. Did I step on a personality swap button trap? Oh, trust me, it's nothing compared to the pain he's felt in Raging Blast, too. Bro, if I were to give eyes in a customization, I would make him invisible. <laughs> no, let me stop. <laughs> Do y'all know why I would make eyes in invisible? By my full name. Yep, Lady Whiteheart. Do you want to be called something more fun? How about Whitey Poo? Call me that again and I'll kill you. I guess you're not. Yes, it truly does. <laughs> Well, then again, I would still make eyes invisible. I just wouldn't give him a voice. Or hands, you know? I wouldn't give him hands or a voice, bro. That way he won't open his mouth or even or even start typing, bro. And he could just, like, stand there in the game, bro, and just let me hit him all day. That way Isaac can just stand there looking like a looking like a looking like a freaking AI in a training mode, bro, when I just literally just hit him all day, bro, and practice Kamehameha waves on him and stuff. Yes, metaphorically rage and blast too, yes. Write your questions on a damn piece of paper. Kinda like with cross rays. I'm just gonna literally leave him on a map, bro, where a bunch of enemy unit mobile suits, bro, just pop up to him, bro. Maybe a mobile armor too, bro. I'll just let the mobile armor I'll just stand there and let the mobile armor just like graze him. Y 
you see? So, you need your hands for that, right? And that's the exact reason I'm getting rid of your hands! Well, well not just Gundam. It could it could be Dragon Ball 2, bro. You know, like I said, I could just I could just make you one of those AIs on a training mode, bro, where I can literally just command you to stand there all day, bro. And I just spam you with a bunch of supers and shit, bro, and you just keep on taking it. Or better yet, probably trap you in an infinite Tsukuyomi, bro, and just like leave you in the dead, bro, and just like not do anything, you know, like. And I'll just make you relieve, like, like I'll, I'll, I'll trap you in an infinite Tsukuyomi and make you relieve all of the losses you've taken from me, bro, and all of the streaks I've gained from it, bro. And you can literally just be like, you know, like, be like that. Which suits you more? Monster? Bitch, I'm adorable. <laughs> it looks the same, but it feels different. It's all tense. Is this the extremist side of Guild City? Going on, Goofy. <laughs> Shut it. There are extremists and moderatists within the guild. I'm a moderatist. If I was going to give him the Broly pep talk, I would have done it in Raging Blast 2 right now. Man, you ain't rushing with style, man. You barely know how to use them thrusters, man. Stop playing. The between an extremist and a moderatist? They're both guild members, right? Moderatists focus on worshipping, while extremists despise the other goddesses they don't believe in. What happens if you believe in a goddess they don't? Get shot until your body's a fishing net, or they'll blame you on website forums for being a fanboy. He doesn't even know what a thruster is. Oh god. Just teaching him how to play the game, bro. He'll literally forget the next day. Are you cute little he's he's to really fight going monsters? to fuck up. That's what he's going to do. How brave of you. There are monsters in the forest ahead. Yeah, I'm just gonna ignore his ass, bro. Head straight on a comment right after this, bro. You, you. Oh my god, man. Wow, you. Wow. I don't know what to say. I do not know what to say. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe we won't get on Gundam. That's how it is. We won't. Dude, it's fucking no, no, no. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm glad, I'm glad Jab got rid of Sus.
see, I can put up with Aizen because at least he, at least he has a limit to what he can say. But Cess, on the other hand, doesn't have a limit. Which made me think that woman was bi or something. You know, that's one redeeming charm about you, bro. You at least know when to stop. I'm being honest. Not joking or anything. I'm literally being honest. That's one redeeming quality about you. Also, you guys, mind you, um, yesterday when he was asking me for Parsec, he wasn't bugging me or anything like that. I actually wanted to get on Raging Blast, too. <laughs> Just to clear things up. But appreciate y'all, though. It's getting a movie. Oh, well, cancel the movie. I don't want a movie. Dude, I can imagine how bad the 3D graphics are going to look on that shit. I hope they get a bad concept animation for it like they did with Sonic. Well then again, Sonic still continued because they made because they made the animation better afterwards, but they, they made the animation and graphics better after that failure version of Sonic. But for Minecraft, I feel like they're gonna do something real bad. That's true. Remember that thing they had too? Remember that thing they had, uh, that that little story mode DLC they had for it and shit? Where they where the where the characters were actually talking? Like I said, I don't fuck with it, but uh, you know, I remember seeing I remember seeing people play it through a stream or whichever, bro, in my recommendation, bro. And it's like part of me did not expect it to actually have like a story and shit. What was it, like Minecraft story mode or whatever the fuck it was? Like <laughs> And it's like part of me did not expect them to actually have a story for that. I'm like, how the how the fuck do you actually take take a game like that and make it into a story? I'm like, that was fun, huh?
getting on Kamen Rider. It's too Hmm, that is true. But how though? Like what idea would they actually come up with to make a movie for Minecraft though? Like how would they actually pull it off? Shark sent the trailer home. Is this a trailer? Let me see. They got a teaser. Please tell me this is fan made. Are they using the official graphics mid game? Dude, what the fuck? Right, as long as as long as they're not using like you know, as long as they're not using the like the original 3D models and shit like that, like from the original characters. If it's humans in it, it looks decent, but. Wow, brother, that actually looks real. Some dude, in, some dude in the comment section of this literally said, "Everybody apologize to Minecraft Story Mode." I'm like, <laughs> then, then one dude said, "You know what? I will first for not playing it." <laughs> <I'm dead. laughs> that was disrespectful, right there, bro. Damn. Dude, how did they make this possible? Yeah, Sonic 3 gonna be lit. I'm taking, you know, I'll take the Sonic movies over Minecraft anytime, bro. Shadow popping in and beating the crap out of Knuckles, bro. I think that's satisfying. You guys know the last time I've been to a movie theater? You know the last time I've been to a movie theater? Can you guess what movie I saw the last time I was at a movie theater? And it was the last time I ever went. I haven't went since my high school days. The last movie I ever the last movie I ever watched at a movie theater was the Yu-Gi-Oh! Bond was the Yu-Gi-Oh! Um Dark Side of Dimensions movie. That's the last time I ever been to a movie theater. I literally saw Yu-Gi-Oh! in theaters with my friends. And I still have the Obelisk the Tormentor card from there. Because they gave out the Obelisk the Tormentor, um, they give out the Obelisk Tormentor card for when you go to the movie. <clears throat> Literally, yep, I, I found it, yep. The limited edition too, mind you. The limited edition Obelisk Tormentor card. I think they said if you ever watch the movie again, if you ever go and watch the movie again, you get um another Obelisk. But some people said they got, um, some people say they get the Winged Dragon of Ra or, um, Slacker the Sky Dragon. And I was like, I don't believe that shit because everybody got an Obelisk the Tormentor. There was, there, the other two Egyptian God cards weren't present as, um, weren't present at the movie theaters for getting one. But my friend did go, my friend did go a second time and he got an Obelisk the Tormentor card too. to represent the Basilicom and explain your bounty job. Not the usual three today, huh? Something's different. Who's missing? It's in your head. Kampa, Ify, and me. Everything's the same. Seriously, though, I always fuck with the Winged Dragon of Ramor. Like, that was like... Obelisk is good too, but the Winged Dragon of Raw had a badass design. Or did she get sick? Did she get knocked out of the party rotation? I get it. Monster fighting is serious. You shouldn't keep the weak links on your front line. Dude, I sneak my own food into the theaters, bro. I never. I, I mean, yeah, sometimes I used to pay for popcorn. 
I did pay for popcorn, but the only reason why I paid for popcorn, don't get me wrong, I like popcorn, but the only reason I paid for popcorn was only so I could literally just bring my own food and blend it in with that. <laughs> but yes, I've sneaked food into a movie theater once before, bro, and that was mainly for my pocket, not anything too big, just like just like a bag of Doritos and shit, and probably some of my own pizza from from like you know a pizza store in a shopping district next to the movie theaters, like. infested with monsters we'd like you to go clear them out some raid residential districts in search of food it's starting to trouble the civilians sound like some ill-mannered monk remember the gx dorms oh oh yeah that's right they had it ranked um they had it ranked based on your dueling skills and um academic skills too in gx for dual academy right they um what did they do they put um slifer as the lowest rank they put Slifer as the lowest rank for certain duelists, and Wing Dragon of Ra is actually second. Obelisk Blue is the highest. Not lying. Obelisk Blue is the highest. Do you know why it's the highest? Because Kaiba used fucking Obelisk in, in Battle City. Kaiba literally used Obelisk the Tormentor in Battle City. I was the one responsible for Duel Academy. He's the reason Duel Academy exists. <laughs> why do you think why do you think Obelisk Blue is the highest rank in Duel Academy? Because Kaiba made the fucking school. <laughs> and do you know why he put you know why he put Slifer the Sky Dragon at the bottom? Because of his rivalry with Yugi, bro, and the fact that and the fact that he lost to the man in Battle City. Think about it. Why is Slifer the lowest rank? That's why. Because that man despises Yuki after taking so many L's against him, bro. Honestly, the only closest the only closest match we ever had with Jaden versus Kaiba is actually Kaiba, man some dude called kaiba man i think it was I, i'm not sure if it was a card created by kaiba but I don't, I don't think kaiba would ever make a card like that but that but that was actually filler so it wouldn't really count though but Jaden did technically go against kaiba man but it's not kaiba at the end of the day so we never did get a match sadly the only but we did see kaiba though for at least a couple episodes <clears throat> But then again, though, when you, when you think about it, when you think about it, when I look at, when I look at the dorms for Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, wouldn't that mean Kaiba hates dragons? He has Obelisk at the top for reasons, but he has Wing Dragon of Ra and Slifer the Sky Dragon at the bottom. So you know what that means. And Kaiba literally loves dragons. He literally, he literally has a blue eyes, he has a blue eyes jet. A blue eyes white dragon jet. A fucking jet as well as the fucking card, bro. It's one of his main cards. And putting them together literally gets blue eyes ultimate dragon. So putting Slifer and Wing Dragon of Raw at the bottom means that the dude wouldn't like dragons then. Technically not really, but I, I saw I saw a parody of that one. I saw a Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge parody of that. And and literally what yugi said literally hit me right there yugi said doesn't that mean you hate dragons <laughs> i'm like <laughs> i said whoa that's kind that's kind of true then and i said the man is right though i said yugi's right <laughs> and it's funny because it's funny because you're literally it's funny because kaiba's literally talking shit Whenever Kaiba talks shit to Yugi, he's talking shit to a man that he once served in ancient Egypt so many years ago. Many years ago in ancient Egypt. He literally served Yugi. Well, the Pharaoh, technically. The Pharaoh. That's one thing I forgot to say. He literally, ser he literally served the Pharaoh in the past, in ancient Egypt.
that's funny. That that's really funny. <laughs> no sweat. Although they never really called him Kaiba in the past, but they called him Seto since since Kaiba wasn't really his name back then. Kaiba would be his Kaiba would be his name in um in the present time. Because he's the descendant, technically. True. That's true. Cause the man doesn't want to admit the man doesn't want to admit that he's like working for his own rival and serving his own rival, which is kind of just like Who do I main in Hugo Daishi Daybreak so far? Bro, I haven't hopped on that game ever since I last ever since you last saw me play, bro. I've only only got into that game because I've been checking out the anime. And I'm literally like almost done with the first one when they cry. That was fun, huh? And who was that woman? There was a blue haired woman with a white dress. I think she's supposed to be the blue eyes white dragon. She's supposed to be the blue eyes white dragon. Practically every character in ancient Egypt, everyone that serves Yugi, are literally personified to be um are literally personified to be the dual monsters later on. <clears throat> Technically they are the dual monsters, but like the woman with the bra I, I can't remember the rest of the, the rest of the people that served Yugi, but the rest of the characters that serve the the Pharaoh. Like the girl with the brown hair. The girl with the brown hair is actually uh she's supposed to be Dark Magician girl. And there's another dude that's supposed to be the Dark Magician. And Dark Dark Magician girl is basically if I remember correctly, the Dark Magician girl is the student of the Dark Magician. <clears throat> yeah, technically, yeah. Except the only difference the only difference with um Maria Ismael from Double O Gundam and Gundam Exia and the difference with the ones from Yu-Gi-Oh is that they're actually they're actually the monsters themselves because they can literally transform to it. <clears throat> but they would later on they would later on appear as cards and stuff in the near future where dual monsters became more of a game than life threatening but I say light threaten I say life threatening because of the shadow game and the shadow game was like the most life threatening thing ever. I mean seriously, they tried they literally tried to censor all the stuff in the shadow game in the US version of Yu-Gi-Oh, bro, because that shit was fucking deadly. Watch that shit in Japanese. Watch Yu-Gi-Oh in Japanese and it's not merciful. You'll not escape from me this time. You thought know, that's crazy. GX was crazy too. They brought back the shadow games in GX. And and literally Dr. Crowler, Dr. Crowler is one of the worst motherfuckers out there. He don't even give a damn about Jaden. And the fact that he's like a student there and he don't give a fuck about his students and literally sent a shadow duelist to get rid of him. That's no teacher, man. That that that's that's it's cause he hates Jaden so much at the beginning. Dr. Crowler's a, an asshole. So it's a figure of speech. Does it really matter? prepared last time but it'll be different now i'm not letting you go neptune pretty mysterious neptune of love well he got pissed and he got roasted too I mean, I mean, you see how many times Dr. Crowler literally disses Jaden, like literally try. Well, technically, he tries to diss Jaden, <clears throat> but Jaden, but Jaden literally roasts him back all the time. <clears throat> but then, like when we reach the fourth season of GX, when we reach the fourth season of GX, Dr. Crowler actually has huge respect and admiration for Jaden. Jaden literally went through a whole redemption arc. Dude is literally like, he has a different personality 
he has like a different personality in the fourth season and like four kids dubbing the fourth season probably wouldn't make sense because they would also have to dub Jaden's personality too. <clears throat> yeah, facts. You get limboed, you lose you lose your soul, like practically everything. Y'all remember the Seal of Oracalcos? The Seal of Oracalcos was another crazy shit too. What was uh what was that season called? Yu-Gi-Oh! Waking of the Dragons? Yeah, that's the one. The one with darts as the main antagonist. <clears throat> that seal of Oracalcos was was something, bro. And, and literally, and, and literally, and I and I and I know it's and, and y'all seen it. The Pharaoh literally beating the shit out of Weevil. That's that's where Duel Monsters was more than a game, bro. It was all about it was all about yeeting characters, bro, because they lose another character. I mean, this dude didn't care that Weevil's life points were at zero. He still kept doing overkill on the man. True, but if we're gonna talk about the most evil Yugi, it's gotta be Yugi from Z from Yu-Gi-Oh Zero. That Yugi was like, that Yugi was far more dangerous than than the Yugi we all know now. Yami Yugi and, and Yu-Gi-Oh Zero, bro, took the Shadow Game to a whole new different level. And you and y'all wonder, and y'all wonder why Yu-Gi-Oh Zero never got pointed to four kids because of how crazy it was not only that bro Yu-Gi-Oh! Zero Yu-Gi-Oh! Zero had characters with different personalities I mean Yugi's grandpa Yugi's grandpa was an actual perv in the Zero version bro he kept he kept literally stalking on Taya like dude was literally dude was not stalking dude was literally trying to get with Taya Yugi's grandfather compared compared to Zero, bro. Now Yugi's grandfather now is obviously nice and stuff, but the one in Zero is an actual is an absolute perv, bro. Absolute perv. The hell? This is the second. And Tristan, Tristan's a simp. Tristan's a simp in the Zero version. The dude literally simps for another for another female character. I'm not gonna name her because she's because she's only a character in Zero and not a character in uh, Dual Dual Monsters. Because they removed her from the cast and stuff when Duel Monsters started. You know, I'm gonna just say her name. Her name's Miho. She's a blue haired girl that, that's literally getting simped on by Tristan. She's <clears throat> and then Yugi. Yugi's a lot more shorter in that version. But then again, that was the first that was the first designs for the characters back then. Taya's got a different outfit. Joey is a um what do i say about joey we actually see back then when where we actually see back then in the very first episode where joey and tristan used to bully yugi back then i mean dual monsters oh yeah that opening was good and the funny thing is that that opening is also used for um <clears throat> that's also used for um the abridged version too they use it for the abridged opening for Yu-Gi-Oh, the one by uh little karibo <clears throat> And you know something else? Kaiba's hair is green in Zero. Kaiba's hair is green. <laughs> Let me see. I'm heading on Kamen Rider now. <clears throat> <clears throat> 